Hi, I'm uh, Kevin Miller. Uh, I run a consultancy called Stratworks, and as the name implies, I help business work out the strategies. Well, today uh, I'm going to share some thoughts about uh, leadership. So, when we think about leadership, we might think about people as diverse as Stephen Jobs, uh, Winston Churchill, um, Abraham Lincoln, and all of them, I'm sure if you ask them what are their three top tips in leadership, I'm sure you get a different answer from each of them. But I think all of them would probably focus on communications. So if you were to ask me, uh, I would say three top tips would be uh, read, uh, tell stories, and give lots of air. And I'll tell you what I mean by each of those. In terms of read, leadership is situational. It depends on the situation. Different people react differently in different situations and circumstances and to different leadership styles. So it's hugely important, read the situation. Also, be very, very self-aware. Try and read yourself. How am I behaving? Um, does, this, does this situation call for me to be uh, directive? Does it call for me to be uh, the, leader, the, the, the visionary who is going to uh, delegate? As well as how am I being perceived? So I would say, number one, read. Read the situation. A another tip that I like to uh, apply is tell stories. I really believe that the human being is programmed for stories. We, if I say Cain and Abel, if I say Goldilocks and the Three Bears, if I say the boy who cried wolf, just the names of those stories evoke such imagery and, and, and learning. And in any business, stories are quite often a very, very powerful way of expressing what you value around here and what kind of leadership uh, you, you encourage and you reward. Uh, I, I can give you an example of one from one of my clients. One of my clients, a uh, mobile uh, reseller, um, had a customer service rep who, in his own time, in his own car, raced out to Auckland Airport to meet an executive who was getting on a flight, who's, an international flight, whose phone had failed. Now that story got all around the business and that became a hugely powerful story, an image within the business of customer experience, customer delivery and customer delight. So I would say tell stories. So uh, perhaps the third would be what I call give people air. Uh, what I mean by that is it's important to realize that there's not just, as I said, one leadership style, but it's also important to recognize as, as enjoyable as it is to hire people just like ourselves, it's actually a good idea to bring on board or to nurture people with different uh, points of view and uh, different uh, approaches. Uh, one, of the, one of the things within giving people air that I personally like to do within a business is to uh, understand the distinction between what I call a line leader and a thought leader. A thought leader may not have, be ready, willing, or able to lead people in a line manner, but they can be very influential within an organization. And, and I believe it's really important to recognize them as leaders, thought leaders as well as line leaders. And one of the things that I like to do uh, as, as, as part of developing leadership is to pick out those people in the organization who are gems and give them what I call strategic homework. I might ask them, for example, to do a critique or an analysis of how we're doing something within the business. And then I'll ask them to come present to the top table and I'll give them my personal very strong support. So everybody sees that around here we value uh, a leadership style and leaders within the business who are independent, who um, uh, come to the top table on the base of merit, and who uh, um, demonstrate that we're not afraid to uh, share alternate views.